six rap lyrics that just didn't make sense. We're gonna take a look at them, see what's going on. It's the Bryce Davis on the check-in, and let's go. But I never hit a woman never in my life. I was in too deep like Makai Fife. Yeah, Kanye said in too deep like Makai Fife. I think he meant to say Omar Epps. You know, it's obvious he confused the two actors here. Omar Epps is the one that starred in In Too Deep. And Makai Pfeiffer, he was in movies like Eight Mile and Paid in Full and, you know, things like that. So I could see where he got the two mixed up at. I'm in Boeing Jets, Slow Express, out the country, but the blueberries still connect. So, yeah, when Jay Z said the blueberries still connect, I think he meant to say when the blackberries still connect because you know he's out the country and it's on roam mode you know back then blackberries was a popular phone before the iphones came out and all that you know uh, i'm surprised that this got through to the final master mix i'm not sure if there's somebody in jay-z's corner that could have told him like yo did you mean to say that or how that works but yeah I know a lot of y'all wondering, well, what did he say wrong here? You see, he said manicure the toes, and I think he meant to say pedicure. Is a pedicure, that's when you get your toes done. And Medicare, that's when you get your fingernails done. I know what he meant by that, you know what I mean? But I just thought it needed to be pointed out. When I'm gone, I just want you to remember the God, but next the size of PlayStation memory card. Man. This freestyle was so hard too by Jada Kiss. I believe it's called Roll Up. Yeah, it's Swiss Beats on the hook and all that. And he had mentioned, you know, I hope you remember the guy for Nick's the size of PlayStation memory cards. All I could think is if you selling Nick's the size of memory cards, you're probably missing out on a lot of money, you know? Like, you know, that just didn't really make sense to me. And maybe I'm being too literal about this, but I mean, yeah, the line does make sense, though. We'll definitely remember you for that. But from a business standpoint, I definitely will, too. What's next? Ooh, I said, what's next? What's next? What's in XET? I mean, this one by Warren G is pretty much self-explanatory. And the bigger question I have is, how did this make it out the studio and nobody caught it before it ended up, you know, on the CD? That's what I'm wondering. But hey... We got the fleet of Panama. But wait, it's half and half. Keys is one and two fifths on how we flip. 32 grams raw, chopping a half to 16. Double it times three. We got 48, which mean a whole lot of cream. Divide the profit by four, subtracted by eight. We back to 16. Now add the other two that Mega bring it. Last but not least, y'all know this one was coming. But I just pulled up my little calculator app. And we're going to do the math together, y'all. Y'all ready? So let's see. We got 48. Right? Because that's what she said. Divided by four. That's 12. If you subtract eight from 12, you get four. But somehow in the song, she said you get 16. Now, I personally feel like Nas wrote that line because, you know, uh, it was def definitely ghostwriting. And, you know, Nas, he only went to eighth grade. Now, it's a joke, obviously. Nas is very intelligent. But you also remember on one mic when he did the age, uh, Jesus died at age 33 line. So this had Nas all over it. And Nas, you a foul nigga for this one, B. Because you knew that uh, that didn't make sense. And you still gave it to Foxy. I don't know what he had against Foxy. But, you know, he, he man. And I'm just speculating, honestly. But anyway, that's my top six rap lyrics that didn't make sense. Stay tuned for part two. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. 